It's the reason why so many women become sick is because they give and give and give and give and give of themselves and then there's nothing left. And then they're scraping out something from an empty well, like they're trying to give and, and, and you have nothing left. So let me, let me explain to you what prioritization means. Some people, they hear the words, they use the term sometimes, but they don't really understand how to apply that. Prioritizing really truly means that your needs and activities have to be done first before above everything else so that nobody else's stuff gets taken care of until yours is taken care of first. Uh, one way I relate to that is when I teach financial uh, financial wealth building and stuff like that. We always say you have to prioritize yourself. Now, what do we mean by that? You say, well, you have to pay yourself first. Mm. So people say, what does paying yourself first means? It means this. What most people do is let's say that, you know, paying themselves means putting away 10% of everything they make every single month. What most people do is say, okay, cool. After I'm done. So what I'll do is I'll spend on all of my needs. And if I happen to have 10% left, I'll put that into my savings. But what usually happens is they end up spending 100% of everything they make every month on all of their necessities and needs or whatever. And there's absolutely nothing left. So what we say is, nope, what you're going to do is you're going to take the 10% of everything you make, the first financial transaction you make at the beginning of every month, immediately after you get paid, is that 10% goes into your savings or financial freedom account, and then you live off of the 90%. That's what putting yourself first means. That's what you, are, you have allocated the first bit of income to your uh, financial independence. And then you live off of the 90. See, living off of 90 is so easy to do, but trying to scrounge up 10% after you've spent the 90 is nearly impossible and most people don't do it. So prioritizing yourself means my needs are paramount and everybody else's comes second place. And you will get it done, right? The people who are the busiest usually have the most that they do, right? I mean, the a lot of the folks that Tom knows that are super huge, in uh, success in real estate or whatever it is, they get up early, they work out, they have their meditation, and then they you know, have breakfast with their kids, and then they get to work in their business. They, they start the day for themselves. Most successful people I know do that. They start the day on their own with themselves, they connect, they feel good, and then, okay, time for family, time for work, time for this. So, but they're prioritizing themselves. I think as women, we often don't learn that lesson that how we feel matters so much. Like we are meant to be moms and we're wives and we have to clean and we have to cook, and we have to work and we have to do these things. And it's wrong. It's the reason why so many women become sick is because they give and give and give and give and give of themselves. And then there's nothing left. And then they're scraping out something from an empty well, like they're trying to give and, and, and you have nothing left. You know, uh, when I did live yesterday in the group, I was talking about my four weeker who is finally creating boundaries. And she feels like she can breathe, like she feels so good. And I said, you've been, you, you've been living on low oxygen for so long. This is your first time you've ever taken a deep breath because she's just giving her air away. You know, she's these vampires attaching to her, just taking away her oxygen levels from her bloodstream and she's suffocating. And so just by making some simple boundaries, right? So you need air. And if you're the one who's working really hard and taking care of your kid, if you die of suffocation, nobody else gets anything anymore. Everything you do for them is gone. You have to take care of you or nothing else happens. And this, this has to change. This idea that you can't be a good mom or good wife unless you're dying of low oxygen, that is a belief that will kill you. Literally, physically, it's killing you, this belief. It's physically destroying your health. So you have to change this. The only way you can have the level of energy that I have to do everything that I do is to take care of yourself. If I was sitting here sick and kidney failure, I wouldn't be doing this job. First of all, I wouldn't have the right to do this job because I, <laughs> I wouldn't be healthy, but I wouldn't have the energy. I wouldn't have the health necessary to be a parent and a doctor and all the things that I need to do. 
you have to be first on that list. So make that the first thing you do each day. Maybe you do change your, your routine a little bit that you go to bed earlier and wake up earlier so you have time before you see anybody else to get up and do an exercise routine. Or, I mean, in your case, so you have, the, you have the getting up early, but then there's also the getting home, getting home directly from, from work. I, I know you've, you've talked about this for a few times. As soon as you get home, you've got all these responsibilities. Well, why don't you make it your responsibility to take care of yourself and your self-care? So it's not like you're killing an entire day by spending 30 minutes of doing anything. So no matter what a person's situation is, you've got a partner, you've got other people that can cover your back for 30 minutes. Otherwise, they can just suck up 30 minutes. But you have to decide that that's okay. Yeah. The world will keep spinning. In fact, everything will be better because you're happier and you feel good. You can show up in such a better way. 